Before silver soldering the parts together, they need cleaning thoroughly. Clean the shaft with a scouring pad and use the belt sander to deeply score both sides of the rudder blade. This will give us a good key for bonding the mahogany planking to the rudder. The components need to be very well supported for the next part of the operation. For small silver soldering jobs I always use this old piece of stainless steel fire grate from a model steam locomotive. It's especially useful for this job because it allows me to hold the brass bar at exactly the right level for the rudder blade to be in the centre of the bar. Carefully apply some silver solder flux along the entire edge of the rudder blade, then place the blade in position against the rudder shaft. Make sure that the rudder blade is positioned accurately. It needs to be exactly in the centre of the rudder shaft's diameter. Check with the ruler that you have half an inch of rudder shaft below the rudder blade itself. It's now time to fire up the blow lamp to silver solder the rudder blade to the rudder shaft. With larger components like this, it takes much longer to silver solder than with the smaller pieces of copper pipe. It's very important to make sure you get the part up to temperature. Once the flux starts to flow, that's the time to apply the solder. This is a good silver soldering exercise, because it doesn't matter if the silver solder runs a little bit onto the blade, as it's all going to be covered up by the mahogany. You can actually apply the silver solder to the work before it's reached the correct temperature, and then when the temperature is reached, you will see that it runs. In any case, you need to apply plenty of silver solder. This needs to be a very strongly made unit.